So here is a basic geography review of Mexico. Most people will know that Mexico is the United States of America's southern neighbor. However, Mexico often gets mistaken and categorized as being part of Central America. It's not. Both two are two separate places that are part of the North American continent. A closer look at Mexico's history and you will find out that Mexico once had an empire from Costa Rica to California across to Texas with parts of Wyoming, Kansas, and Oklahoma. After Mexico gained its independence from Spain in 1821, these areas were eventually lost due to internal political issues and war during the nation's early decades. Mexico's influence would essentially be a foundation in the American Southwest and a major labor source in many American industries during the late 1800s to modern day times. Mexico has gone through a variety of changes in its territories and state boundaries, but here are the modern day 32 states of Mexico, each one having its own unique traditions. A choropleth map will show that much of the population of Mexico is located in the central part of the nation. Altogether, the nation contains over 130 million people, making it the 10th most populated country in the world. Meanwhile, there are over 36 million Mexican Americans, making the United States the second country with the most people of Mexican ancestry. A look at Mexico's top 25 metropolitan areas will show that the Valley of Mexico, or Mexico City area, contains over 22 million people. Monterrey and Guadalajara are the next two largest areas with 5 million each. Looking at Mexico's physical geography, a DEM dataset will show how mountainous Mexico is as we can see the various elevations across the country. Most noticeably of these features are the sierras stretching throughout the country north to south. Most of Mexico's highest elevations are in the central part of the nation. Of course, biomes are a reflection of the elevations as seen in this land cover data set, providing us the opportunity to see the variety of environments Mexico has perhaps best described as a country with an arid and semi-arid deserts in the north, while heading to the central parts we see temperatured and tropical dry, wet, humid seasons of forest, grasslands, scrublands, and jungles in the southern part of the country. Mexico's infrastructure stretches throughout the country, as seen in this road data set, making up 366,000 kilometers of road, while in this railroad data set, we see Mexico has over 14,000 kilometers in its rail network, connecting the nation together. Overall, this gives us a general idea of Mexico's geography and has always played a critical influence in Mexico's history and future. This has been a Pochteca Land video.